Welcome, welcome, one and all. Winter Wizard here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you an alternative choice of model I like to use to represent Nurklings. very much for joining me today and welcome to this uh, very brief little video of mine where I'm just going to be running you through a um, little and showing you this alternative choice of model I like to use to represent Nurglings on the battlefield. So if you're not already aware I have a Death Guard army they're called the Drowned Plague they have a very deep sea nautical color scheme and play style about them and, um, and I've got a few got a few uh, alternate models that I like to use it's mostly for the demons um, and I've been thinking about trying out uh, trying out using some nurglings in um, in game we're into ninth edition now I, think I really like the idea of how tactical that they could be but um wasn't really not really enamored by the um, the sculpts that games workshop do for the nurglings right now I mean I think they're very cool, uh, I certainly do like them, but it's not quite, I didn't think they quite suited in with the rest of the theme with the army that I've got. So I wanted to see if I could find something uh, a little bit more unique, a little bit more um, fitting with the Drowned Plague, and, uh, and I think I've done that here. Uh, I think I've found some models, uh, I've painted them all up, they're ready to go, so what I'm going to do in this video, I'm just going to zoom in, show you through them, talk you through the process of um, of how, how, we, how we use them, and um, see where we go from there. It's cold and lonely here in Winter Wizard's Frozen Fortress, but it's uh, it's a beautiful overcast morning, and uh, I've got a nice cup of coffee over there, and uh, I'm joined as always by my friend and co-host Dimu. He just keeps an eye on things for me here in the Frozen Fortress. Couldn't do a video without him. So I zoomed in here. I thought I'd just show you a couple of other models first, just to give you a bit of an idea of what the um, what the overall theme is going to look like here, and how I wanted these to how I wanted these to work with the army. So first of all, this is this is Gargle Rot. Goggle Rot Deep, Swallower of Filth, Bringer of the Rotten Tide, and Drowned Demon Prince of Nurgle. Yes, he, it's a great and clean one model with the Rotagus head there uh, and arm. Um, but I use him as a great and I use him as a Demon Prince in games. Um, I've sort of justified why I do that by um, by the lore that I've created behind this character, which uh, I've got a video which you can go and check out. Put that in the I'll put a link to that in the description below. But, uh, but you can also see that there's a crab claw here. Um, there's another video in this disgusting conversion series where I show you how well, I explain how I how I did that little venture. But anyway, the, um, Gargara, he's the warlord. He's the main man behind the army, and he's really the sort of core foundation for the for the theme for the theme of the army. So he's got that sort of crab claw, deep sea colours. He's supposed to be a monster. Grown in a sea of filth. A bit of fluff there. And, um, and we've got another character here. This is Gurgle Grime, the spawn of Gargle Rot. So this is another demon prince, uh, correct size this time. Uh, and I give him some wings. Um, again, there's a video in this series about how I explaining how I managed to do that. This little fly swarm of wings. And, um, but and again, he's got a very sort of, sort of sea creatures sort of theme. Lots of tentacles, and um, he's even covered in he's even covered in barnacles and hooks, and, and there's even a wee fish there. So, um, he's perfect. Uh, so when I was coming, when I was looking for another demon prince model, um, I wanted something that would really suit that theme, and I found this guy in the Gelapox Infected uh, Rogue Trader box, and. And the idea is he, he's supposed to be the spawn of him, so he's like grown inside him and he's erupted out, you know, um, charming stuff. So all the demons in the army, I think, have spawned from Gargarot here. So I wanted to do that with the Nurglings as well, make them look like they would suit these, make them look like they would fit in with these two, and like they would be spawned from within the the, uh, the rotten bowels of um, oh, Gargarot here. So I was looking for some Nurglings, I went back to the box where old um, Gurgle Grime came from, the Galapox Infected Rogue Trader stuff, and I saw these. Um, what were they called? They were called Sludge Grubs. Galapox Sludge Grubs, and they were, they were all individual. One grub, 
So you see that there's four of them here. Um, they all came on individual little tiny 28mm bases. I saw them, you get like four of them in the box. And I thought, and I looked at, I was looking at the data sheet of Naglings, and uh, they've got four wounds, four attacks. So I thought, well, there's four of these grubs, that'll, that'll probably represent them very well indeed. So I ended up buying a bunch of these off of, um, tracked them all down off of eBay, and bought some 40mm bases. And, and I think they work really well. So I've stuck four of each on, uh, on each of the bases. There they are. I just think that I think they I think they really do the job. Uh, they look they look like these uh, sludgy, grubby urchins that have come, uh, you know, underwater, sort of swimming, sort of squirming through the this rotten tide of filth around them, and um, they certainly look like they've probably popped out of uh, every every crack and crevice from a uh, from gargle rot here and um yeah so i thought just thought that they were perfect and that's it really that's um just wanted to show you that show you this um i mean the models are fantastic like the gallipox infected box they had some really cool stuff in there if you're looking for some um if you're looking for some a unique looking demon prints or some conversions i think it's a really good place to start uh, Gurgle Gram, he was one of the, um, one of the Plague Hulks, I think, no, I can't remember what they're called. Um, but there's a few big Nightmare Hulks, that was it, there's a few big monster looking things, I think they would make really good Demon Princes. And, um, if you feel like doing something a bit different with your Nurglings, I quite like the idea of these, um, Nurgly worms, these grubs, these, doing something a bit different, then please go ahead. Uh, feel free to take this idea and put your own spin on it. Well, that's me, and that's my uh, alternative choice of model for representing Nerglings on the battlefield. Ah, there we have it then. So that's another instalment of Disgusting Conversions, and in this one I showed you um, the alternative model choice that I use to represent Nerglings on the battlefield. Keep a lookout for some more disgusting conversion videos um, in the future, and please do check out the, the series itself and see, see what other horrible goodness we've got going on in there. If you've enjoyed the video today, then a, a like and a comment would be very, very much appreciated. And if, uh, and if you'd like to see more of what goes on here inside the Frozen Fortress, then perhaps you'll also consider becoming a subscriber. And once again, whoever you are, thank you very, very much for joining me today. I'm Winter Wizard. That's Dimu. And for now, keep it frosty.